Hey everyone! In today's video, we're doing a deep dive into Lossless Scaling 3.1, comparing Adaptive Mode and Fixed Mode to see which one is the best for your gaming setup. If you're using a budget PC, you might be struggling with ghosting and graphical artifacts. So, let's break it all down and find the best settings for you. You guys already know, Lossless Scaling is a tool that helps you increase game performance without needing to overclock or modify a game settings. It does this through frame generation mode. However, in version 3.1, there are two main modes, fixed mode and adaptive mode, and choosing the right one can make or break your gaming experience. Fixed mode has many different options. X2 mode, X3 mode, X4 mode, finally X20 mode. X2 mode means your base frame rate is doubled, while the X3 mode means it is tripled. Similarly, there are X4 and X20 modes. However, for budget PC users like us, X2 and X3 modes are the most practical, mostly X2 mode, as it provides solid performance without introducing unwanted artifacts. Also, make sure to limit your FPS using MSI Afterburner to ensure stable performance while reducing unnecessary GPU power. Adaptive Mode is a more advanced frame generation method that dynamically adjusts based on your monitor's refresh rate. Example, suppose you have a 144Hz gaming monitor and can maintain a stable base frame rate of 50 or higher. You can increase your frame rate to 144 to match your monitor's refresh rate, providing a smooth gaming experience. I'm choosing three of the most graphically demanding games for budget PC users. Let's test both fixed and adaptive modes in these games to see which one minimizes ghosting and graphical artifacts while delivering the best performance. After comparing both modes, Red Dead Redemption 2, using X3 mode does not show very noticeable ghosting or graphical artifacts. However, in Cyberpunk 2077, even X2 mode has minimal ghosting, though it's not very significant. 
In Ghost of Tsushima, we can use both X2 and X3 modes without any ghosting issues. I recommend sticking with fixed X2 mode for budget PC users because, as you saw, using other modes can cause more ghosting and graphical artifacts. So, you guys can decide which mode works best for you. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more optimization tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.